Hi, I'm Artifacts Mars, and here's a fake news story for you. I'm thinking I'm going to have a new playlist of fake news. It will be based on uh, the lamestream media and the BS stories that we get out of them. I don't have a theme yet, so... Uh, well, I have to think that over. How am I going to do that? At any rate, Tucker Carlson confronts Newsweek reporter over claim Trump was institutionalized in a mental hospital. Fox News host Tucker Carlson engaged in he an interview with Newsweek senior writer Kurt Eichenwald on Tuesday regarding a reporter's claim that President White Donald Trump had been institutionalized in a mental hospital. On Tuesday, I can vault some of some of a tweet that said I believe Trump was institutionalized in a mental hospital for nervous breakdown in 1990, and that's why he won't release his medical records. The interview between the two went downhill pretty fast, with Eichenwald continually deflecting questions from Carlson. Do you see a little irony on that? One day you're criticizing the press for being lazy and inaccurate, and next day you yourself are being lazy and inaccurate. Inaccurate. Fox News host asked. Now yep, this isn't uh, cooperating. I involved attempted to justify his claim by staying, saying that he was started covering Trump in the late eight, 1980s, and at that time he obtained Trump's medical records, which is, he said, showed Trump was given a heavy prescription for an amphetamine derivative. However, Car uh, excuse me, that's, as far as I know, that's not a psychiatric drug. Amphetamines are stimulants. Sometimes they're used to treat what do you call it, uh, narcolepsy. However, Carlson was not satisfied with the response and asked a simple question, simple yes or no question. Was he in a mental hospital or not in 1990? He said he was, was he or wasn't he? He wasn't, was he? The conversation got, kept going around in circles and Eichenwald refusing to give a straight answer. Unfortunately, Unlike your world, reality isn't always able to give you a yes or no answer, reporter told Carlson. So, uh, this is fake news on part of Newsweek. And Newsweek is part of the lamestream media. So, there you go, fake news. Red alert, liberals go nuts, fake news. So, I'll see if I can come up with a theme. This should be interesting. Uh, maybe something based on the uh, newspaper... Mogul William Randolph Hearst, who got us into war with Spain over fake claims that Spain bombed the uh, battleship Maine. When in fact, historians believe that it was purely an accident, not related to Spain. Uh, we'll see. I'll figure something out. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.